what is up so this is Jay here and today I want to start a discussion so you can tell by my videos that I'm very passionate about all things Dragon Ball and I mean all things. GT, you hate it, I love it. Super, you love it, I hate it. I can't stand Super, but I'm not here to bash that. But I wanna talk about something that precedes all of this. Why is Broly so disrespected? And a lot of people saying like, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Broly Z. People are always saying that this dude was just a brute. No, this dude was talking, bro. You Kakarot, I choose you to be the first of my victims. Kakarot, do you love your son? Come on, bruh! Somebody saying that to you, bro. What do you mean, bro? You, that's that's your child, bro. You let him say that to your kid. So here we go, bro. I got some um, some proof of what I'm talking about. No disrespect to this fossils two two two, because I mean this is opinion. It's like a bowl. We all got one. You feel me? No matter the gender. So uh, let's talk about what he says. He says, and again, this is pure opinion. Honestly, I prefer Super's version. I say that as a kid who rushed out and purchased the VHS of Dragon Ball Z Broly. So the, first of all, this thing is old as shit. Let's rewind that. But the first of all, this thing is old whoa, as shit. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry to break it to you, my guy. You're old, man. VHS tapes, my nigga. Hey, yo, keep that to yourself, brother. But yeah, looking back at it now, Broly was cool because he was this hulking badass that couldn't be put down, but his personality, even as psychotic, was meh. Meh, ladies and gentlemen. I am the ruler of all Saiyans, even you, Broly. It please try your best to make me kneel before you. Ah. But let me go ahead and tell you- Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs> His beef with Goku made little sense. His reasons for being crazy made little sense too. What movie did this nigga watch? Okay. <laughs> Your father was afraid Broly would become too great a threat to him. We were left to die and thrown out like garbage. And you probably like, bro, he's he's cooking. No, he's not, bro. Let's talk about it. First of all, Broly was killed, qu quotations, because he was too strong. All right, let's let that sink in. No more discussion. I want a son executed immediately. He can be a great help to Bruce, Vegeta, and our planet. Please, he's just a child. The data could be wrong. He could grow up to be a great warrior. That's exactly what I'm worried about. His, his whole reality, his whole childhood was him trying to sleep. Think about this. Put yourself in his shoes. You're trying to sleep. And there's always a nigga in your ear. You're not going to get annoyed, bro. This nigga had to hear Goku crying for, for hours, days, bro. <laughs> this nigga was hit, listening to crying 24 7. That's not gonna bother you, bro. He had to watch somebody pull up, grab him by the leg, and get stabbed as a child, bro. And then they get tossed to the. Bro, they got tossed with the garbage. <laughs> what is he talking about? Threat to him. We were left to die and thrown out like garbage. You have to realize in life you associate certain things with your trauma. So before he got stabbed, he heard Goku's crying. Let that sink in. So when he hear Goku's crying, it's not that he's mad that the nigga's crying. It reminds him of his trauma. Because it's not tolerable. No way. No way. Him being crazy makes perfect sense if you look at it with those lenses. Go back and watch the movie. I don't know, bro. It's a stretch. Peric is actually caring for his son. No, this nigga did not, man. This. <laughs> 